you have to understand it is a very thorough checking procedure you cannot commit a mistake in selecting a candidate time is the crux you need to be really quick in understanding the question more you practice more your mind becomes accustomed to the logic now i when i when i know that this candidate is clearable candidate now i want to pitch him somewhere see everybody who is clearable usko bhai kuch grade bhi to dena na humne so how to differentiate them it is your written performance which has a bearing on your merit lot of candidates don't realize it nobody can assess your personality better than you your that is not you can fool some people sometimes some people all the time but not all people all the time tu chalta ja tu chalta ja tu chalta ja tu badhta ja tu badhta ja tu badhta ja tu ladta ja tu ladta ja tu ladta ja tu badhta जय हिंद वंदे मातरम और भारत माता की जय स्वागत है आपका द फौजी शो में द फौजी शो में सामाजिक जिम्मेदारी की तरफ एक विनम्र कोशिश है इस शो से इकट्ठा किया हर पैसा भारत के वीर फाउंडेशन में जाएगा ताकि हमारे शहीद भाई बहन की फैमिलीज को कोई भी आर्थिक समस्या ना आए आपके एक लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब से किसी की सहायता हो सकती है क्योंकि मैं खुद एक एक्स एन डी हूँ और नेशनल डिफेंस अकेडमी में तीन साल ट्रेनिंग किया हूँ मैं सम्मान करता हूँ हर उस भाई बहन का जो सरहद पर है ताकि हम जैसे लोग आप और मैं चैन की नींद सो सके जय हिंद वंदे मातरम भारत माता की जय इफ यू लिस्निंग टू दिस ऑन एनी ऑडियो प्लेटफॉर्म गिव अस अ फाइव स्टार रेटिंग एंड आल्सो लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब टुडे वी हैव विद अस कर्नल पंकज सर अगेन फर्स्ट वीडियो वाज अबाउट लाइफ ऑफ एन एडी ऑफिसर एंड अबाउट सर लाइफ अबाउट हिज टेन्योर हिज कमांड एंड हिज सर्विस एट एसएसबी बोर्ड एज डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट बोथ एट अलाहाबाद एंड भोपाल सो दिस विल बी मोर ऑफ एस एस बी सेंट्री बिकॉज हमारी ऑडियंस वो है सो आई थॉट दैट इट वुड बी बेटर इफ वी डिवाइड इन टू टू एंड इस वीडियो में हम सर से एस एस बी रिगार्डिंग ही बात करेंगे आर्मी रिलेटेड बात हम कर चुके हैं सो डू चेक आउट द पार्ट वन एज वेल एंड सर इज सेट बिफोर सर हैज सर्व एट टू बोर्ड एट अलाहाबाद एंड भोपाल एंड दीज डेज ये सेट अप ब्यूटिफुल डोमेट्री एट अलाहाबाद and you the link is in description and he is also director of tushul defense academy the link is in description do check out both the links uh, sir uh, thank you very much for doing part 2 and uh, first question main jo aap se puchna chahunga sabse pehle ki is screening jo hai isme uh, candidates generally ask ki sir jo technical entries hain like say ts or uh, tgc or you know where written test is not there the amount of candidates who come is generally you know in large quantities as compared to any written test that is nda or cds but jo screening ratio hai, that doesn't change like uh, is there any specific number ki itne hi bacche hum screen in karenge ya whoever makes the cut he gets screened it all right i will say both are true actually uh, both the answers are true for your suggestion see each board in the selection center has a handling capacity of maximum 40 candidates because there are four gtos and gto group cannot be more than 10 <coughs> but not withstanding the handling capacity there are five boards in elabar let's say so we have a pool of assessors available so there are times when you find batches are good 50 to 60 candidates have been taken in so you get additional interview officer you get a additional psychologist you get additional teacher so the first of course uh, let me tell you that it is not a very uh, happy situation the quantity numbers people come but what most of them i'll say majority is actually not it does need a assessor सेलेक्ट इवन एनी बडी ऑन द रोड आर्मी के लिए जा रहा है ये नहीं हो सकता आर्मी देखते ही बात फर्स्ट लुक ऑफ द कैंडिडेट कहते हैं ये आर्मी में कैसे जा सकता है वो भी ऑफिसर बनने के लिए तो यू कैन मेक आउट स्टेट अवे इफ 
आई एम सेइंग वी आर लुकिंग विद द आई ऑफ एन असेसर ए नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बीइंग कैन से आई एम बंदा तो हो नहीं सकता आर्मी में भाई द वे ही इज द हिज फिजिक द वे ही इज कैरिंग हिमसेल्फ डजंट बी फिट अ सोल्जर लाइक सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव दिस आईडिया दैट दे वांट टू टेक अप दिस गवर्नमेंट जॉब तो भाई चलते यहां भर्ती हो रही है ना जैसे Yes, and EGC are basically because there is no written test. It's like yeah, they come in boats, but ठीक है पहला मौका है जा रहे हैं भी आर्मी के लिए चले जाते हैं. They don't even understand what is SSB all about, what is army all about, and that is the biggest mistake that you are making. You have to understand it is a very thorough checking procedure. We cannot commit a mistake in selecting a candidate. So even if three hundred come. You've seen lot of candidates or both. We don't even say that because movement. You move, open. You know, 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 फौज को देखते हैं यार यार क्या क्या इनके मैसेज होते हैं गेम्स हैं क्या चमक दमक है भाई उस चमक दमक के पीछे हार्डवर्क देखना सो यू नीड टू पुट इन हार्डवर्क देयर नो शॉर्टकट टू हार्डवर्क देयर इज शॉर्टवर्क आई आल्सो रिमेंबर व्हेन आई जॉइन द आर्मी आई वाज थिंकिंग यार पढ़ाई नहीं करनी पड़ेगी सब अच्छे से पहला जब उधर आगे पहुंच गया देन आई रियलाइज यार यहां तो ज्यादा पढ़ाई करनी पड़ रही है बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू कीप अप विद टाइम यू हैव टू कीप अप विद द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज यू हैव टू कीप अप with everything this world is changing so fast so you have to work hard so if anybody who thinks the charm of the uniform or your status and all that is what is the aim then your why is not very clear i have always said why you want to join the defense forces should be very clear in your mind and please take a pick yes definitely you must take a pick and try and come but before you come at least prepare yourself yaar kuch nahi hai to kam se kam apne ye शरीर पे जो एक्स्ट्रा चर्बी चढ़ गई उसको तो कम करो ना कम लुक लाइक ए ए बॉय ऑफ योर एज डोंट लुक 20 इयर्स ओल्डर देन यू बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है तो इसलिए मैंने देखा कि यार ये बड़ा मुश्किल आता है कई बार मैं ये मानने को तैयार हूं कई बार क्या होता है गेहूं के साथ धुन भी पिस जाता है जब ज्यादा क्वांटिटी में आते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली आर एंडेवर इज टू फिनिश अप द टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर्स इन द गिवन टाइम फ्रेम बट very rarely will it happen in the stage one that a candidate who ha- who can make a cut is not given a chance and the benefit of doubt in the stage one is given to a candidate it is always given to a candidate we, we if we think that he, even if he show me a little spark yaar isme hai kuch shayad ye pass ho jaye shayad he may clear the thing uh, that test we give him a chance but once you come to the thorough checking in the stage two testing then of course the no benefit is going to be given then the benefit is given to the organization if i am in doubt whether he should clear or not clear if i am in doubt i will say not clear but because otherwise if i select a wrong candidate it is a very uh, it has very reper- you know repercussions are very high therefore we can't make a mistake so sometime i always say a deserving candidate may get rejected but it will never happen that a non deserving candidate will get selected it can never happen this can never happen and this i can vouch for it because i've been in the system for a long enough time there are three assessors who look at you there are times when as a interviewing officer deputy president when i have presided over the conference i felt this why deserves it i hear but there are two assessors there is another assessor who feels no sir this is a grave mistake and each assessor has equal say therefore अ पर्सन हु इज रियली डिजर्विंग क्या तरह पूरा ठोक बजा के देखा जाता है तभी भैया बंदा पास हो सकता है जो स्टेज 1 में जब ज्यादा रिपोर्टिंग होती है तो ऑब्वियसली टाइम गिवन इज लेस देयरफॉर दैट मच टाइम इज नॉट देयर दैट यू कैन एट लेजर यू कैन शो योर पर्सनालिटी इट इज ऑन दैट 1 मिनट ऑफ नरेशन दैट यू डू बिफोर दैट यू हैव डन योर ओआर टेस्ट वेल इफ यू डू योर नरेशन वेल 80% ऑफ योर बैटल इज वन एंड देयर आफ्टर ऑफ कोर्स that uh, you will get through if you've done your narration part well and you perceive the picture quite reasonably well and given it out fir uske baad aapke chances increase hote hain but ratio hui rahega obviously you are right because deserving candidate out of that are very limited very very few uh, 
आई से समाइम यू हैव टू रेज दी नंबर कि भाई चालीस बंदे तो हो जाए कम से कम क्योंकि वो भी नहीं मिलते कई बार तो उसमें भी नहीं मिलता I interacted with the AIR one sir of NDA Rubin and Anushka. Both were toppers in NDA, both male and female. So both of them were repeaters, and both of them got uh, screened out in first attempt. Okay. So is there any you know luck thing in screening because? काफी अच्छे कैंडिडेट्स होते हैं मतलब ऐसे तो बात भी करो इंटरेक्ट भी करो तो कुछ ऐसा लगता नहीं कि यार ये क्यों रह गया is there any luck thing to ko aisa hota hai no when candidates come i you are saying i i am talking the other way i have seen recommended candidates yes sir can make in it in the, the merit come and they get screened out now it is like a game of cricket yaar dekho virat kohli bahut acha batsman hai agar chhed chhad lekin aaj se shuru mein chhed chhad karne ki outside the off stump he can get out early so they say if you get him out early tab hi tum bach paoge nahi to tab hi zilt send down similarly i have seen lot of candidates become overconfident you the think yaar ki nahi nahi main to previously recommended hu i can give so past performance has no bearing frankly speaking it has no bearing it is on that day how you perform and there are times when good candidates are unable to perform and it can depend on your mental state your background how much some candidates have just traveled landed up on the stage one couldn't do to the best of their ability lot of people do not understand the importance of oir test they think yeah ye to main kar hi lunga aur usko to chalo uske liye taiyari bhi nahi kari hai aapne kuch you haven't really gone through it and then you find you are at the wrong side by you screened out yaar and that comes as a shocker but by the time you come for the second round because you have seen this and as i said any failure it hits you if you are a person who is a kya the jiske andar thodi si bhi self respect hai to obviously nobody wants to fail in the life but a reasonable person he looks in what he understand ki aap kitni baar ye problem hui thi i was not well rested or i was didn't prepare for this particular point so they can come back and do it i have seen a candidate clearing hsc in the 21st attempt so because personality is ever evolving so i will not say that it is any indicator and uh, you are well aware that the very very uh, imminent personalities of our society never got screened in or never got selected in the selection board late dr ap jakala if a person of his caliber don't get recommended in the ssc what is me and you so <laughs> i always say give this example to the candidate ki bhai a non recommendation at the ssc is by no means any indicator of how good a person you are you may be very good yet not found suitable for this way of life because it is different it is little different it is those officer like qualities that we are looking for and you cannot these officer like qualities cannot you know develop in a day in a week in a month or in a year you have to really inculcate good habits like i saw your video you said you were you were a avid reader you used to read so many books how many of our youth these just read books very very rare reading has taken a back seat now सर मूविंग अहेड स्क्रीनिंग में ही आपने इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ओ आई आर बोला लेट्स इलेबोरेट दैट आई हैव हर्ड एंड रेड समेयर दैट इफ यू आर ओ आई आर वन देन यू नीड ओनली वन असेसर टू से दिस गाय माइट हैव और यू नो ही मेक्स द कट एंड देन ही स्क्रीन इन इज देर सम इज इट ट्रू और वॉट इज ट्रू इट इज इट इज नॉट फॉल Uh, and uh, there is no harm done in for the people to understand that this, or how does it happen see oir test it is a simple test of your verbal and non verbal abilities all right you are supposed to do two booklets time for each question is only 30 seconds in those 30 seconds you have to pick out the correct option share it in the omr sheet and if you know the answer 30 seconds is a long time but if you don't know the answer then obviously you have to take an intelligent guess because don't ever leave a question blank thinking yaar main sab kar lunga fir aunga wapas mein there is no come back time and if you leave a question blank there is a hazard that you might miss out on a seniority and even if you realize that my seniority is minimal you can do nothing because the machine does not accept any erasers cuttings or overwriting so the best way of doing a oir is if you don't know the answer take an intelligent guess if your guess is actually an intelligent guess 90% of the time it is as good as that even if it is not correct there is no harm done There's no negative marking there. 
So the mantra of doing well in the OIA test is attempt maximum number of questions. More questions you have attempted, more right answers you are likely to get, more right answers you get, better OIR you get. And importance of this OIR is, range of this OIR is from one to five. One is the best, five is the worst. To get OIR one, you've got to be not only intelligent, you've got to be really quick in your responses. A candidate with medium level of intelligence, provided he's quick in his responses, has better chances of doing well in the OIR test than a candidate who's very intelligent but slow in his response. Now, if you get, you know, after you've done both the, uh, there are two uh, sheets given to you, uh, pamphlets, and both these, after that, results are added. And this OIR 1, 2, and 3. Now, if you have this, that after your stage 1, once your narration part is over, as I said, narration part is 80% of your assessment almost, discussion is over, then the compilation of the results. Each assessor has three options to award to the candidate for his performance. And these options are yes, no, and doubtful. They're indicated by three alphabets, Y, N, and D. Now, Y or yes is given to a candidate who writes a simple, pragmatic, practical oriented story, narrates the story in a very confident, fluent, crisp, and well modulated way, making a good impact on the group. And during the discussion, the candidate is very actively involved in the discussion. Such a candidate will get Y. If a candidate does not do these, he will get N. But majority in the group will get D or doubtful, which means you have done partially well. And partially well means while narrating the story, the candidate is reasonably confident, reasonably fluent, makes a reasonably good impact. But during the discussion, he is mind. Tries to speak twice or thrice, but unfortunately, the group is so loud, there's so much of fish market happen, poor candidate is unable to put across his weak point. And after two, three attempts, he gives up. Very good, Sultan. And such a candidate has done only partially well, and he's entitled to a D. Now, when the compilation takes place, the psychologist gives out the chest number, gives out his own assessment, followed by GTO, followed by IO. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's say psychologist says chest number one. My assessment is N, GTO, N, IO, D. It is recorded. Chest number one is N, N, D. So the generally people think you are up to your though summation over here, though N is not recommended. But now he also gives out the OIR and his rating. If you are OIR one, which is the best, two, second best, or three, with single D out here, your final outcome is R recommended. But if you are OIR four, with single D out here, your final outcome is N R not recommended. For OIR four to get recommended in stage one, you need two Ds or a Y. And if you are for some unfortunate reason in the OIR file, then now to get recommended, you need three Ys. And that is almost an impossible. Really and generally doesn't happen. Uh, so my advice always to the candidate is take your OIR test very seriously. Remember the mantra of doing well, attempt maximum number of questions. In fact, all the questions, more questions you have attempted, more right answers you will get. More right answers you get, better OIR you get. And OIR 1 or 2 is well within your graph, provided you keep your calm, keep your cool, you organize your time in an intelligent and efficient manner. Getting OIR is not a problem. Actually, it is the level of difficulty is at best mediocre of the uh, OIR test. It is not very difficult test. But sir, like, the uh, written bache clear karke aare, NDA, especially where mathematics level is so high. So, then you guys must be seeing a difference between non written and written entry because NDA mein mathematics paper care ke ke bacha, so he must, majority of them must be OR 1, 2, 3 at most. May, may, as go, sir, the, the, how it happens is that those testing questions, the booklets that are given to you, they have both verbal and non verbal ability questions. So a candidate has to understand that it's not only mathematical, some logical questions are there, you know, and some spellings and uh, uh, interrelation questions are there. So you have to be actually, if you read computer math, uh, this competition success review, competition master and all, and Aajkal to internet pe bhi itna sare aage hai. The crux here is again the time. 
time is only 30 seconds for a question if you spend anything more than 30 seconds you are spending it at the cost of some simpler questions which are waiting for you ahead and you will be never able to reach there so time is the crux you need to be really quick in understanding the question more you practice more your mind become accustomed to the logic more you can see it is something like go series aa rahi hai na mathematics you have to be you are using certain formulas you are using certain logic that way here it is a mix of everything so it is your i'll say overall intelligence which is not only mathematical it is also logic included in that sir 8000 interviews and who to better ask you sir uh, interview ke bare mein thoda baat karte hain any memorable candidate ki you know after that us aapke chehre pe aap haste rahe and you know aap usko kabhi nahi bhul paoge any memorable candidate dekh mere sath sabse badi main ek to maine maine suna hai baaki assessors jab hum log we shift ho gaya tha there are a lot of candidates uh, who are talked off you can but most of them are talked off for their uh, silly answers or those uh, the howlers uh, which come through but i am one person who never actually mock a candidate i never mock a candidate because i know he is under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure so i i it is it is a known thing in the ssb that i have never talked about the shortcoming of the candidate because I, it is not ethically correct I, it is in my personal feeling acha mere sath ek cheez aur bhi hai i forget the candidate very quickly a lot of candidates come back and tell me sir aapne mera interview liya tha maine acha i don't remember them and the and i think in a way it is a good thing although ssb always tries and make sure that the candidate whom you have assessed once you don't assess him next time so basically to take out any error of that human you know knowledge previous knowledge because you are not supposed to have previous knowledge about it so main generally candidate yaad hi nahi rakhta mere mere sath sabse badi ye cheez thi i have never remembered a candidate whom i have met but of course if a candidate is very good you feel he is a very deserving candidate he will never come again for the ssb and if he is very foolish then only he may come and he is the person whom but mai dwara usko interview nahi karunga so actually very difficult to share a candidate mere hisab se so it can it, it is not very funny nahi hona chahiye jab wo memorable bhi ho ki yaar usne aisa intelligent answer diya even in that sense i am saying okay okay chalo ek incident mein tumko batata hu you know there is this question which is asked to all the candidates why is it that you want to become an officer or want to get into the army there was you know one of the candidate this didn't happen with me somebody else told me she said sir i've seen army officer beautiful girls marry army officers so i want to become an army officer <laughs> i said yeah very very answer and then this man didn't know the i was said you may be mistaken i don't have a beautiful wife kata sir you may not have been so lucky <laughs> and the presence of mind of the candidate now you guess for yourself this candidate did get select selected so it was his presence of mind i will say even in front of interviewing officer if you are can say this you said maybe you are not so lucky so i at that answer stuck to my mind for very long time if i am recapturing it after so many years so uh, there are sometimes very very intelligent answers can be given okay somebody says ki sir i am come for the ssb because i heard it is very difficult and i want to see the challenge it proves that that is i want to get into the i said yes you are right but it is it is a challenge yeah clearing ssb is a challenge it's not such a easy cake walk especially in these days when everybody tells you are ye karna ye mat karna ye karna ye mat karna <laughs> your mind is very absolutely fox you are ye what should i do and i always say yaar don't go with any preconceived <laughs> idea or wah coaching mein jata to wo kehta nahi aise nahi story likhna ye is tarike se story likhna don't write negativity don't write this ab sala mai karu kya yaar you know everybody is telling me different stories so candidates it is actually the candidates who have complicated this procedure of testing too much by thinking ki aisa kya kar du ya budde ko impress kar du mujhe pass kar de so the preoccupation in the minds of the candidate is how to impress the assessors whereas we are not looking for perfect candidate we are looking for your suitable for this day of night you have to just be natural be yourself enjoy the proceeding yeah it is a life changing experience you bond to it yourself it tells you so much about yourself you are meri jawan se awaaz hi nahi nikalti lot of candidates you find them so tongue tied this is the first time i realized this word tongue tied why does it mujhe awaaz hi nahi nikalti bolne ki koshish kar rahe lekin jawan chupke hota hai so many times it happens so that is why they say the 
the interviewing officer first puts the candidate at ease, makes him hear his own voice by asking. वो भी simple से casual question पूछते हैं. वो भी they give you indicator. You know, simple the question. Okay, how are you? How did you travel, sir? I traveled by train. Okay, which all is स्टेट से डूबो नो ही डोंट नो यार मैं तो थर्ड एसी में बैठ गया मुझे मालूम ही नहीं कौन सा स्टेशन है स्टेट कौन सी पता लगेगी भाई अगर तेरे दिमाग में इतना प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड है यू नो इफ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम केरला बाय ट्रेन व्हिच ऑल स्टेट्स योर ट्रेन वुड हैव कम इफ यू हैव नोन द हिस्ट्री और द ज्योग्राफी ऑफ दिस प्लेस तो भाई तुम्हें मालूम है यूपी में आ रहे हो इलाहाबाद में आ रहे हो तो कौन-कौन सी स्टेट से होती है माय ट्रेन होती सो प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड आई विल से इट इज व्हाट हेल्प्स यू इन द सेबी इज योर प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड एंड ऑफ कोर्स योर फेथ इन योर ओन एबिलिटी depth of knowledge will give you that confidence to face things sir ek ye sawal bhi aata hai ki kafi ssbs mein the interviewing officer really focuses on you know technical knowledge about like the guys from science background or has engineering background so there are technical questions whereas in many ssbs more of the questions are piq based so what is There is no fixed pattern or some what. So what is why is this so? देखो मैं ये कहूँगा general awareness and technical knowledge is a minuscule part of your personality. Now the interview technique per se in the SSB is looking at your personality. Those fifteen or so like qualities. So first and foremost thing as an IO for me, and I've seen most of the IOs for that matter. is to firstly understand whether iska banda ka koi manufacturing defect to nahi hai theek thak hai banda his factor one his intelligence level his thinking level his power of expression his faith in his own abilities his logical thinking his initiative his moral courage and everything was in place there after now i when i when i know that this candidate is clearable candidate now i want to pitch him somewhere See everybody who's clearable, उसको भाई कुछ ग्रेड भी तो देना ना हमने सो हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट देन भाई गधे और घोड़े में तो हमने कर लिया अब कौन सा घोड़ा अरबी है हैं? कौन सी किसकी अच्छी नस्ल है वो करने के लिए देन यू गो ऑन टू आस्क हिम दिस टेक्निकल नॉलेज क्वेश्चन दो जनरल अवेयरनेस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दैट एड्स टू योर पर्सनैलिटी सो ए पर्सन हु नोज इट ही दैट एडवांटेज ही गेट पिस्ड अप हायर in the ssb ranking and the person who done have this but basically banda theek hai he gets cleared but he is not that high so technical knowledge question and general awareness questions are basically grade karne ke liye kaun sa ghoda behtar hai kaun sa ghoda second number pe got it these days sir many candidates because you know the rise of social media and internet to they are not able to write sports or uh, you know career activities in their piq jiski wajah se they they have to leave it blank so does it have any impact because in even in academy i have seen guys who have never played any sport unko ekdam zero se sikhaye sikhana padta hai so what what is the you know kafi bachche select ho jate hain kafi bachche reh jate hain what is the reason or circumstances to koi ek cheez main batana chahta hu this pi cube form personal information question that is given to you one has to read it very carefully and provide the information in the manner it has been asked now if you see that sports column it is asking name of the game or sport that you play duration level at which play now candidates do tarike se hote ek hote bahut smart theek hai acha kuch log ke dimag mein ye bhi rehta hai yaar ki agar main games aur sports nahi likhunga to main select nahi hunga Again, which is the myth? I will say, I am not looking. Sports man, नहीं चाहिए मुझे भैया sports quota का अलग से होता है यार entry. So I am not looking. At, but what is the importance of games and sports? This only indicates that what type of person are you? Are you an outdoor oriented person? But these days, unfortunately, not everybody has the opportunity to play games because he's gone to schools or college where there are no sports facilities available. There is no sports ground. So much to study. Parents खुद कहते हैं बेटा पढ़ ले यार ये खेल करने से कुछ नहीं होगा या तो खेल इतना अच्छा खेल कि सचिन तेंदुलकर बन जाए है तो जाके देन देन यू आर यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ कैरियर बट इफ यू वांट टू रियली मेक अ कैरियर सो यू हैव सो फोकस ऑफ द सोसाइटी इज सच इज नॉट टुवर्ड द गेम्स एंड स्पोर्ट इज मोर टुवर्ड द एकेडमी सो व्हेन यू कम टू द पीआई यू फॉर्म इफ यू हैव प्लेड अ गेम कैजुअली नो हार्म डन इन राइटिंग दैट गेम बट 
अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ दैट गेम अगर आपने गली क्रिकेट भी खेला है यार और मैं उस बंदे से पूछूं यार मैं आजकल देखता हूं स्क्रीन पे ये ऐसे ऐसे करता है एम्पायर ये क्या कहता है कहता है गोलगप्पे मंगा रहा है रसगुल्ले मंगा रहा है क्या कह रहा है यार ये तो एटलीस्ट ही टू नो द बेसिक ना कि भाई मैं क्रिकेट खेला हूं गली क्रिकेट खेलता हूं लेकिन मैं भी देखा मैंने भी यार ये ऐसे करता हूं इसका मतलब भाई कोई क्या मतलब सो बेसिक्स ऑफ दैट गेम शुड बी नोन बिकॉज़ व्हाटएवर यू राइट आई विल हैव टू क्वेश्चन टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हेदर यू आर टेलिंग मी द ट्रुथ और यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक अप बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स कम प्रिपेयर्ड यार अच्छा मैं बता दूं आप बैडमिंटन खेला मैंने फिर बैडमिंटन कोर्ट की लंबाई इतनी होती है उसकी चौड़ाई इतनी होती है उसके अंदर उसकी नेट की हाइट इतनी है सब कुछ याद करके आते नाउ यू विल एग्री विद मी अ कैंडिडेट हु हैज प्रिपेयर्ड हिमसेल्फ थ्योरेटिकली फॉर अ गेम द वे ही विल टैकल अ क्वेश्चन कंपेयर्ड टू अ कैंडिडेट हु हैज प्लेड दैट गेम विल बी डिफरेंट एंड इट इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर एनीबॉडी टू डिसाइपर कि एक्चुअली तुमने खेला कि नहीं खेला गेम गाइस बिकॉज़ द वे यू आर आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन एंड If you play the game, definitely you must go into little. I tell you, sir, yeah, Google or ask, 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 So we also understand it, but just by saying that you played a game actually doesn't serve the purpose. Or by saying that I have this habit of habit of reading, unless you have really read a book, you cannot answer questions about that book. Lot of candidates come prepared. Four five books they read. After they come, they ask me, "Nobody asks me. Okay, what books have you read, sir? I have read Monk who sold his Ferrari. I have Alchemist, Tale of Two Cities." और वो एक चार पांच नाम याद कर लिए एंड यू विल बी सरप्राइज एज आई वाज वी आल्सो रीड दिस बुक्स यार बिकॉज़ आई नो कैंडिडेट विल टेल मी दिस बुक्स एंड व्हेन आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन पता लग जाता है यार बॉस उसको ये नहीं मालूम है बुक की लाइफ कितनी मोटा मोटे कितनी किताब है ये बिकॉज़ यू नॉट यू नॉट सीन द बुक नेम और समथिंग थोड़ी याद करके जाना है चार पांच बुक्स सो देखो डोंट टेक अ इंटरव्यू ऑफ सफर राइट डोंट क्वेश्चन इज इंटेलिजेंट सो बी ट्रस्टफुल इट इज नो यू आर नॉट कमिटेड अ क्राइम यू आर नॉट हैविंग केयर attitude with which you should go into the ssb is sir this is me this is how i think this is how i react to situations i haven't read too many books i do not have very many hobbies i am not a very good sportsman but i have reasonably good in my academics you find me suitable please take me otherwise loss is yours i might rise to become another dr apj kalam Uh, who was never recommended by the uh, forces yet he became the supreme commander of the forces same forces who rejected him so that should be maybe you are cut out for something big so don't go with that attitude that i have to give right answer there is nothing called a right answer be you be yourself don't try and project yourself to be somebody that you are not this is the biggest mistake that the candidates do they try and copy people somebody has told them yaar tu batana hobbies or hobbies ke bare mein bhi apna batayenge aise so that is where you uh, is a pitfall and it's a myth that a candidate who has hasn't played a game i haven't played too many games yaar i have never been uh, a sports person but it doesn't mean that i i, I the fact that i became an io is an indicator that i got cleared by all the three assessors that, that is why you can be selected for becoming an interview officer so in our times it used to happen like that अब तो थोड़ा कम हो गया है थोड़ा सा उन्होंने कम करना पड़ा बिकॉज अभी देर आर हार्डली कैंडिडेट्स विद ऑल थ्री असेसर्स क्लियरिंग तो इसलिए कम हो गया ओके ग्रेट सर एक और क्वेश्चन जो काफी कैंडिडेट्स के पूछते हैं कि कॉन्फ्रेंस में जैसे नाउ अगेन दिस इज अ मिथ एंड आई हैव आस्क सम असेसर्स बिफोर एज़ वेल कि Uh, आपसे पहले अगर डिस्कशन हो रहा है लंबा सो यू आर डाउटफुल केस सो आज वन ऑफ द असेसर्स तो दे हम तो चाय ब्रेक भी लेते थे सो इफ बोथ थिंग्स कैन हैपन सो व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस ड्यूरिंग द कॉन्फ्रेंस देखो गणेश बाबू का भी मैंने आंसर सुना था उसने तुमको दिया था जो है गणेश ही वाज अ ही वाज अ जीटीओ व्हेन आई वाज द इंटरव्यू ऑफ द डिप्टी प्रेसिडेंट इन द 21 एसएसबी भोपाल वी वर टुगेदर एंड ही इज बैंग ऑन यार देयर आर टाइम्स यू नो इट इज अ कॉन्फ्रेंस इज टेकिंग बाय बिफोर अ कैंडिडेट कम्स इन See, three assessors have assessed the candidate in terms of his personality profile. So there is a psychologist, there is a GTO, and there is a GTO. all three of them put across their own perception of the personality of the candidate and give out his strong points, give out his weaknesses, 
and then based on these three perceptions, wholesome picture of the personality of the candidate appears, based on which a discussion, a discussion takes place, and based on which a decision is arrived at whether to clear a candidate or not to clear a candidate. Now, if a candidate is very good, cleared by all the three assessors, there isn't much for discussion. Everybody is of the same opinion. It's only just that somebody feels that he's at a higher level, somebody is a nicer, just about there. Like it's clearable. Okay, so there's no discussion. Or gada hai bilkul, not cleared by anybody, then also there's no discussion. Everybody says, nahi yaar, he, he doesn't deserve. So you don't waste your time on these two categories. But there are candidates who are just good. One assessor feels that he's good. The other assessor is mediocre. Other than no, sir, he's not good. Now there is conflict of this. So the person who feels that he is good, he brings out. Why does he feel good about him? What are the good qualities? Person who does not feel good about him, what are the things, what are the areas in which he thinks he lacks? So then the discussion takes place. As an assessor, if I have cleared him, I will try and convince the other person that these are the things. And you may like to consider that he might improve with the training. Because at least in one technique, he's showing this sort of a quality. The other person, either he'll agree to me, either he will get convinced, or I will get convinced. So this discussion does take place at times. Okay? And it is a consensus which has to be arrived at. Now, if mm -hmm. a, if a assessor is not very clear, then he does have that flexibility to see the candidate once again during the conference. Okay. The areas of the concern of this particular assessor, because of which he was not clearing him, will again be addressed during the conference. So when the candidate comes, certain synthetic situations are posed to him. Some questions to clarify the doubts of that assessor who had doubts in his mind will also be asked. And at the end of it, if the other assessor feels convinced, he just said, what you are saying is right. I will give him that benefit of doubt and I'll go and uh, I will also clear him. So after he can goes out, then again this assessor is asked whether now are you convinced? If he's convinced that the candidate just clear, he said, no, sorry, sir, I don't think he is very convincing, and I will not be, I will not be comfortable clearing him. So his judgment is honored. Remember, every assessor has equal say in the recommendation or non-recommendation. There is nothing called a senior assessor. You know, yeah, I'm a brigade, I'm a general, I'm a commandant, I'm a interviewing officer. So, dusra to major hai. No, no, no. You are you are wrong. No, it is his technique. So every technique has equal say. And remember, every technique has a different. I'll say it has its own strength. By group dynamics, kaisi hai? Individual psychology mein banda kaisa hai? One to one bhi hai. Some people are very good one to one. Some people are very good in the group. Not so good in the one to one. Come under a lot of pressure. But when they are in the group, they are like loin. Bilkul apna. So. Each technique has its equal set, so there are times of discussion. But let me tell you, very rarely will it happen that the discussion will run for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, which the candidates feel, which Ganesh Babu had brought it out very correctly. There are times yaar, when there are interruptions in the conference. We are discussing, a call comes. President ko call aage kisi ki. Commander ne bola yaar, kuch bola. He said, gentlemen, just hold on. So he is talking to the boss. So this is no indicator. I will go a step further. There are times when can you say, sir, my interview is going to go to the end of the day. My brother, it can happen that your interview is going to go to the end of the day because he is a trainee. He is under training. So he is unable to really assess your personality in 60 minutes. A person, are you like me? He already finishes his interview in 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm able to uh, clearly understand the personality of a person in that period because of so much of experience that I've had in dealing with people. So duration really doesn't matter. If you have it in you, there is nobody who will deny your personality qualities. Okay? We are there to select candidates. This is the problem. We are not there to reject the candidates. So a lot of people think, yeah, I have two questions answer I have to interview. And this very confident candidates, you know, I've seen a question and his face drops. Yeah, he's doing Miranda. <laughs> it is a long drawn testing procedure. He's looking at those 15 officer like qualities. So, my advice to the candidates always is don't give up your hopes till such time results are announced. Every day, carry out a deep introspection. 
self evaluation of your performance to understand which are the areas you could not do so well and why and how you can improve it this evaluation that you carry out helps you tremendously eventually to improve yourself in life but it also helps you during the conference because you would have seen in the conference so many times it is asked how do you think you have done which is the technique you think you have done the best you are in a group of 10 candidates who do you think in your group has the best second best and the third worst including you and why so this why is the important part why you are saying your chest number one has done the best it is not that chest number one is going to get recommended but i am seeing how mature is your mind capable of observing people around you or is it that you only look at yourself and don't worry about the group yaar for the 10 log ke sath hum do din humne kaam kiya tha but rachel you know yaar ye bande mein dam hai yaar chest number one mein dam hai yaar chest number three mein dam hai because the way he expresses is you so calm so cool he doesn't get perturbed sir so he is very good sir. in my mind he is done the best so you have given your reason so that is the aim of asking this question and the duration has no bearing as it is it is bagwas anybody who says ki yaar mere se pehle aadha ghanta hua tha to bhai sahi baat hai wahan pe chai break chal raha hoga actually sir i asked this because just yesterday only someone messaged me on whatsapp ki sir i got recommended and he sent me a photograph so i congratulated him then he said saying ki sir but i am very worried i'm like kyun kya hua medically bhi he was fit so he said ki sir my written score was uh, not that good it was average and uh, d- before my conference there was a 20 25 minute break so i said ki bhai it can be anything don't you know speculate on your own bilkul aapne theek bataya main main aapko ek cheez aur bata deta hu sir ki the ranking in the ssb frankly speaking between the best candidate who has been cleared by three and the candidate who has been cleared by one assessor in the ssb it can happen that you been cleared by only one assessor and yet clear the ssb the difference between the marks of these two is not very high yes sir theek hai it is your written performance which has a bearing on your merit lot of candidates don't realize it because i have seen nda ke results written mein unke 200 200 number ka farak hota hai aise bhi mein se ulke se 20 se 30 number ka farak hota hai bas तो भाई तुम्हारी मेरिट जो है जनरली एसएसबी से नहीं अफेक्ट होती तुम्हारी मेरिट अफेक्ट होती है तुम्हारे रिटर्न पार्ट से तो रिटर्न पार्ट में भैया आप जरा अच्छा कर लोगे देन देयर इज अ चांस दैट इवन दो यू मे बी रिकमेंड बाय वन असेसर यू कैन स्टिल मेक इट इन द मेरिट यस सर सर वन क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी आस्क ऑल द गेस्ट ऑन आवर प्लेटफार्म इज दैट व्हाट इज योर एडवाइस टू द गाय आउट देयर हु इज वर्किंग हार्ड बट कहीं ना कहीं उसका रह जाता है लेट्स से रिटर्न में रह जाता है या कॉन्फ्रेंस में या स्क्रीनिंग में मेरिट में कहीं रह जाता है सो व्हाट्स योर लास्ट मैसेज टू दैट गाय आउट देयर ओके नाउ आई विल ऑलवेज से सी यू आर द बेस्ट असेसर ऑफ योर पर्सनालिटी नोबडी कैन असेस योर पर्सनालिटी बेटर देन यू योर कहते हैं ना कि यू कैन फूल सम पीपल सम टाइम सम पीपल ऑल द टाइम बट नॉट ऑल पीपल ऑल द टाइम सो यू आर द बेस्ट असेसर नाउ देयर आर टाइम्स व्हेन यू डोंट रियलाइज यार बिकॉज़ तुम्हारे अंदर वो भी सेल्फ इवैल्यूएशन की कैपेबिलिटी भी नहीं है इतनी अच्छी नहीं है क्योंकि हर एक आदमी सोता है मैं तो बहुत अच्छा किया सो इट इज बेटर टू बी डिस्क्रीट एंड अंडरस्टैंड एंड कंपेयर योरसेल्फ टू अ पर्सन हुम यू नो हैज बीन रिकमेंडेड व्हेयर डू यू थिंक ही वाज बेटर देन यू इफ यू कैन इवन कंपेयर इट यू विल फाइंड इट देयर इज नो शो फॉल्स प्रिटेंसेस यू कैन नॉट पुट अप इन द एसएसबी व्हेन यू गो इफ यू गो विद दैट आईडिया दैट देयर इज समथिंग एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी यू हैव टू डू समथिंग मैजिकल यू हैव टू डू देन यू आर रॉन्ग यू हैव टू बी योरसेल्फ इफ यू हैव इट इन यू those 15 officer like qualities if you have it in you they will emerge by themselves if you get truthfully involved in the testing procedure without being preoccupied with the results without being preoccupied with the thought of impressing the others you can't impress the others i am only looking at you discreetly and understanding that how much of intelligence level have you got what is your social adaptability level how much is your courage physical fitness and all those things so everybody is looking at it through your action through your body language through your enthusiasm your body language actually has plays a vital role if your person is enthusiastically we know yaar ki is bande mein dam hai josh hai theek hai angrezi thodi tang hai so many times i have heard in my conference sir bande ke ideas bade acche hai lekin sir bol nahi pata angrezi mein angrezi is a language we will make you master of it but we cannot 
change some manufacturing defect in you. So that is what is the aim of the SSB. So please don't go with any idea that you have to do something extraordinary. Be yourself. If you have it in you, things will fall in place. So what idea was impressed by me. I think that is the thing. I'll, I'll say if a candidate keeps his calm, keeps his cool, enjoys the procedure, should be able to make it. It is not a very difficult procedure uh, by any chance. Thank you so much, sir. It was a wonderful time and a privilege to, you know, have you on my small platform and Kafi Mirko bhi seekne ko mila. And I'm sure it would be a great value to the audience. Both the episodes, uh, I would request everyone to check it out. First is the life of an AD officer. It's about Sir's life and about his care in the army. And second is his SSB. And, you know, he has uh, debunked the myths jo kafi candidates ko it will really help and also do check out the uh, both the web websites that is ssbdormitory.com and trishul defense academy's website the link is in description do check out the courses as well and uh, i will be very best. i will be very happy Shibhat, if i can be of any help to any candidate so anybody who has any doubts any questions to ask you can always reach out to you can maybe give out my numbers also on this uh, there is a number that personal number that i carry I may not be able to take calls all the time because I do go to the classes and all. So that time I don't carry my phone inside. But I will definitely reply to it. Uh, if you put a WhatsApp question to me, I will definitely reach out to a candidate and uh, try and clarify your doubt. It was wonderful actually being here. I have, I have also enjoyed it as much as you have enjoyed it. Hopefully, uh, it was a wonderful interaction. And I would like to carry it forward by reaching out to maximum number of candidates in whatever way they can. Thanks a lot. Sir, yeah. sir. sir, sir number ki jaga, we will put the email ID because uh, number is, you know, candidates, they will call you up anytime disturb. So, But I will tell you, like I said, my phone goes on no disturb mode after 10 o'clock. So you cannot call me after 10 o'clock. <laughs> no. So I'll see him. So next day, 10 to 5 is the time that I, generally between 2 uh, to 4 o'clock also, I don't attend. In the evening, I am in the fine tuning session in the dormitory. So even if you give the paper, this is number it gets diverted to my other number, which is in the, with the manager. So he'll get the calls. I'll get the message. Or best is on my number, put in a WhatsApp message so that I know that there is a candidate who has this doubt in his mind. I'll reach out. I, I have no problem. I'll always call back the candidate and I'll reply to his question. As yeah, much we'll as put the time. details in the description. So don't do worry. That, and, do, uh, do like, share, subscribe, Karosko, five star rating though, so that maximum people, it can reach out to maximum people. Thank you, sir, once again. Jai Hind, sir. Jai Hind. God bless.